Hi, my name is Elon Pellet. I'm the senior author on the research team from the Department of Dermatology in the Tel Aviv Strasky Medical Center that had recently studied the treatment of hereditary hypotrichosis simplex of the scalp with topical gentamicin. Hypotrichosis simplex is characterized by progressive loss of scalp hair that results in almost complete baldness at a young age. It is often caused by dominant nonsense mutation in the gene CDSN encoding coronal desmosin. The nonsense mutation leads to the translation of a short truncated coronal desmosin protein and the formation of an amyloid-like material which interferes with normal hair follicle cycle. Since gentamicin has been shown to mediate ribosomal withdrawal over nonsense mutations, in this study we aim to ascertain its therapeutic efficacy in reading through nonsense mutation causing hypertrichosis simplex. First, we established a molecular model of the disease by cloning mutated CDSN gene upstream to a green fluorescent protein. The fluorescent reporter is translated only when reading through the nonsense mutation. Hence, the degree of green fluorescence reflects on the read-through activity. Cells expressing our reporter system showed green fluorescence following treatment with gentamicin. Thus, gentamicin promotes ribosomal read-through of a nonsense mutation in coronal desmosin. Next, we investigated the efficacy of gentamicin inducing read-through in primary keratinocytes obtained from hypertrichosis simplex patients. Treating cells with gentamicin resulted in increased full-length coronal desmosin protein production, supporting the possibility that gentamicin may be of ther therapeutic benefit in hypertrichosis simplex. Finally, we performed an open-label pilot clinical trial with four patients with hypertrichosis simplex. Patients were treated daily with topical gentamicin on, the, on their scalp for six months. Treatment with gentamicin resulted in significant hair growth. In conclusion, we showed that gentamicin induced read through across a nonsense mutation causing hypertrichosis simplex and clinically attenuate the clinical manifestation of the disease. Our findings indicate that topical gentamicin should be considered as a potential therapeutic modality in hypertrichosis simplex.